Hello, and thank you for attending this virtual reInvent 2020 session on accelerating your migration to Amazon S3. My name is Avi Drapkin, and I'm a Senior Storage Specialist Solutions Architect with AWS. For this session, we will discuss how you can leverage some of AWS native tools to help accelerate your migration to Amazon S3. We'll start with a brief introduction to set the stage of where customers often find themselves with respect to data. We'll talk about some of the data migration challenges our customers face. Then we'll cover the main topics of today's discussion and give an introduction to two AWS services you can, you can use to help you with your data migration projects, AWS Storage Gateway and AWS DataSync. We'll also dive a little deeper into some customer use cases where you can get a feel for how our customers are utilizing either AWS DataSync, AWS Storage Gateway, and in some cases, using both to accelerate their migration to Amazon S3. According to an IDC article dated May 2020, more than 59 zettabytes of data will be created in the year 2020. That's 59 million petabytes of data that will be created, captured, copied, and consumed. With so much data being generated, the size of data sets just keeps increasing, not decreasing in size. According to the article, the amount of data created over the next three years will be more, more than the data created over the past 30 years. There are so many new sources of data entering our data centers these days. Everything from IoT devices sending detailed telemetry data to server-generated content such as logs, user-generated content, media files, the list goes on and on. As customers want to migrate more and more workloads to the cloud, the size of data sets gets increasingly larger as well. Not many organizations have data sets that are decreasing, so there's a need for tools to help move data quickly and efficiently. There are many open source tools available for little to no cost that can move the data to AWS. Is an open source data transfer solution the right choice for you? Whether you need to move your data because your data center is closing, or you need to get your data migrated because you are converting your applications to utilize Amazon's EC2 or container services, and you need to bring the data with the applications. Or you may need to migrate your data to Amazon S3 so you can utilize other AWS services to scale your applications beyond what is capable within your own data center. Regardless of why, the common theme keeps coming up amongst our customers. Seems to be that they usually need to move lots of data, they need to move the data quickly, and they need to move the data securely. That brings us to some of the migration challenges that often come up when we talk about moving any sort of large-scale data migrations. As the proliferation of data continues to challenge IT professionals in nearly every vertical, the need to move the data closer to the workload has become increasingly challenging. It goes without saying that there are always many ways to approach this challenge, but we find that a lot of times IT professionals quickly become overwhelmed having to manage large data migrations using standard data copy tool sets. Oftentimes, in order to get data migrated, a lot of time, effort, and expertise is required to create and manage the set of scripts that will be used for the migration. When tackling the problem of transferring data at large scale, there are a lot of factors to consider. Often organizations start with a DIY approach because there are a lot of free tools available to get you going. But what we found is that using those tools or writing custom scripts to manage the transfer of data while initially looks like it's free to use may actually cost enterprises large amounts of time and money because these tools may not be appropriate to handle the complexity required. Imagine relying on these tools to manage a large migration on a tight timeline only to find out that some of the data transferred was corrupted due to there not being sufficient error handling or detection mechanisms. We listen to our customers and today we'll talk about two tools you can use to help alleviate some of the pain and complexity managing large-scale data migrations. By leveraging AWS DataSync and or AWS Storage Gateway, you can accelerate your migration to Amazon S3 by allowing you to focus on what is meaningful to the business rather than trying to manage the complexity of moving the data. In the next few slides, we'll give a brief overview of both AWS Storage Gateway and AWS DataSync to see how each of these services works so we can get a better understanding of how these services can help you. 
Let's start with AWS Storage Gateway, which can act as a bridge between on-premises applications and highly durable cloud storage by providing you several different ways to move your data to the cloud and make it accessible to your applications. AWS Storage Gateway comes in three modes, File Gateway, Volume Gateway, and Tape Gateway. When you deploy using File Gateway, the appliance presents a local file interface that enables you to store files as objects in Amazon S3 using, the industry, using industry standard NFS and SMB file protocols. Think of a file gateway as a local cache for your S3 bucket, which gives you near limitless scaling capabilities for your applications. Essentially, you are able to access those files via NFS or SMB from your data center. With Volume Gateway, the Volume Gateway presents your application's block storage volumes using the iSCSI protocol. Data written to these volumes can be asynchronously backed up as point-in-time snapshots of your volumes and stored in the cloud as Amazon EBS snapshots. You can back up your on-premises Volume Gateway using the service's native snapshot scheduler or the AWS backup service. In both cases, volume backups are stored as Amazon EBS snapshots in AWS. These snapshots are incremental backups that capture only changed blocks. All snapshot storage is also compressed to minimize your storage charges. With Tape Gateway, the Tape Gateway presents itself to your existing backup applications as an industry standard iSCSI virtual tape library, or VTL, consisting of a virtual tape media changer, virtual tape drives, <clears throat> and you can continue to use your existing backup applications and workflows while writing to a nearly limitless collection of virtual tapes. Each virtual tape is stored in Amazon S3. For the purposes of this session, we'll focus specifically on the file and tape gateway modes. AWS Storage Gateway addresses the hybrid cloud storage challenges our customers face. Specifically, Storage Gateway allows customers to connect to and use key cloud storage services such as Amazon S3, Amazon S3 Glacier, Amazon S3 Glacier Deep Archive, as well as Amazon Elastic Block Store. Data is transferred securely and efficiently between on-premises environment and AWS. As mentioned earlier, think of Storage Gateway as a local cache that is linked to a highly durable and scalable storage system in the back end. Using common protocols found in the data center, you're able to access your data without having to provision and maintain large, complex storage arrays to access your data. Rather, the most common, <clears throat> rather, the most frequently accessed data will be available locally, and all other data is automatically copied to and from Amazon S3 as needed. Additionally, Storage Gateway integrates with AWS services such as AWS Key Management Service, KMS, for encryption, AWS Identity and Access Management, IAM, AWS CloudTrail for logging, and AWS CloudWatch for service health monitoring. You start with Storage Gateway by deploying an appliance as close to your workloads as possible to reduce network latency. Oftentimes, that means deploying the appliance in your data center. Let's dive deeper into how Storage Gateway works for both Tape Gateway and File Gateway modes. As mentioned earlier, when you deploy a Tape Gateway, the Tape Gateway presents itself to your existing backup application as an industry standard iSCSI-based virtual tape library with virtual tape drives and a virtual media changer. You can continue to leverage your existing backup software while writing to virtually limitless collection of tapes. As you backup the data to the virtual tape, the data will be stored in Amazon S3. When you no longer require frequent or immediate access to the data contained on the virtual tape, you can move it to Amazon S3 Glacier or Deep Archive. In file gateway mode, AWS Storage Gateway deploys as an appliance that can present network, sh network shares, either via SMB or NFS protocols. This share allows users and applications to access a low latency storage device locally. AWS Storage Gateway automatically sends the data to your designated Amazon S3 bucket. This enables you to have fast, local data access to the most frequently used files while giving you virtually limitless scale to store as much data as you need. By using industry standard NAS protocols, SMB, and NFS, it allows File Gateway to integrate virtually seamlessly into your application workflow. 
POSIX style metadata, including ownership permissions and timestamps are durably stored in Amazon S3 in the user metadata of the object associated with the file. Once the objects are transferred to S3, they can be managed as native S3 objects and bucket policies such as versioning, lifecycle, management, and cross-region replication can apply directly to your objects stored in your bucket. Also, because the file gateway transfers the files you place in the share into objects in your S3 bucket, it provides a cost-effective mechanism for you to enable other AWS services to access your data, such as analytics and machine learning. On the previous slide, I mentioned that AWS Storage Gateway can be deployed on-premises as an appliance. You have several options when deploying the AWS Storage Gateway. You can deploy easily. You can easily deploy on-premises as a virtual machine. We currently have support for VMware, Microsoft Hyper-V, or Linux KVM. This is the most common deployment scenario found in corporate data centers, where the AWS Storage Gateway appliance can leverage an existing investment in a virtual infrastructure. Alternatively, you can deploy the virtual appliance on an Amazon EC2 instance for in-cloud data retrieval. If you do not have access to a virtual environment, you can choose to deploy via pre-configured hardware appliance. Deploying on a local hardware appliance is often a good choice in remote offices or when there may be insufficient resources in an existing virtual environment. The hardware appliance currently comes in two sizes, either 5 terabytes or 12 terabytes, and has dedicated SSD drives. So after hearing from our customers about some of the challenges they were facing trying to transfer data into AWS, we realized there was an opportunity to help them by removing a lot of the undifferentiated heavy lifting that comes with building your own migration tools. So we built AWS DataSync, which is a fully managed service for online data transfer to and from AWS storage services. As a managed service, AWS DataSync can transfer hundreds of terabytes and millions of files at speed of up to 10 times faster than traditional open source tools over the internet or AWS Direct Connect links. By utilizing compression, parallel transfer, a multi-threaded architecture, as well as other optimizations, you can use AWS you can use AWS DataSync to migrate active data sets or archives to AWS, transfer the data to the cloud for timely analysis and processing, or replicate data to AWS for business continuity. In particular, DataSync was purpose-built to handle the challenge of migrating millions or even billions of small files, a task that can be particularly difficult for do-it-yourself solutions. AWS DataSync makes it simple and fast to move large amounts of data online between on-premises storage and Amazon S3, Amazon Elastic File System, or Amazon FSx for Windows File Servers. Manual tasks related to data transfers can slow down migrations and burden IT operations. AWS DataSync eliminates or automate or automatically handles many of these tasks, including scripting copy jobs, scheduling and monitoring transfers, validating data, and optimizing network utilization. The DataSync software agent connects to your NFS or SMB storage or your S3 compliant object store so you don't have to modify your applications. We also wanted to make DataSync easy to use by allowing our customers to get up and running quickly and focus on the task of getting their data to the cloud. Security is our top priority here at AWS, and we built DataSync to transfer data securely and reliably. DataSync encrypts data in flight and supports encryption at rest for on S3 and EFS. In addition, DataSync provides a number of options for validating your data, making sure that all the data that was transferred was successfully transferred. And finally, DataSync was designed to be cost effective. You only pay for the data that was transferred, and there are no minimums. So how does AWS DataSync work? AWS DataSync is a managed service, and to get started with your migration, your first step is to deploy one or more of the DataSync agents into your environment. A DataSync agent is a virtual machine, and we currently support VMware, Microsoft Hyper-V, and KVM hypervisors. It's also worth noting that you can also deploy DataSync on an EC2 instance as well, either in AWS or by running it in your on-premises environment on either Amazon Outposts or on an AWS Snowcone device. A single agent can transfer data at up to 10 gigabits per second of throughput, and you can add more agents to run faster. 
The most important thing to note in this step is that the data sync agent should be deployed as close to your data as possible to avoid any unnecessary latency. Depending on how much data you have to migrate, it may make sense to deploy multiple agents so you can spread the tasks across many agents. Once the agents have been deployed and activated, the second step will be to configure the data sync locations, which tell the service how to connect to your supported source and destination storage as part of your task definition. On-premises, AWS Data Sync supports connecting to shared file systems that use either NFS or SMB protocols, and will support connecting to object storage that have an S3-compatible API interface. In AWS, Data Sync can connect directly to Amazon S3, Amazon EFS, as well as Amazon FSx for Windows File Server. Data Sync will always transfer the data from the source to the destination as part of its task definition. AWS Data Sync runs as a fully managed service that will coordinate access to Amazon storage services and manage the data transfers to and from your on-premises locations. Data Sync can utilize several connection methods to transfer your data between your on-premises data center and AWS. You can utilize either your internet connection, your AWS Direct Connect link, or an established VPN connection to AWS. Regardless of connection method chosen, it's important to understand that all data transferred between your on-premises data center and AWS is encrypted in flight using TLS encryption. Now that we have a feel for how AWS Storage Gateway and AWS Data Sync works, let's dive into a couple of customer use case scenarios. This is by no means an exhaustive list, merely a showcase to get you thinking about how you can utilize these AWS services to help accelerate your migration to Amazon S3. Let's start with one of our most common use cases. We find that this is a use case that is often uh, one our newest customers explore first. Customers want to use cloud storage for on-premises data backup to reduce infrastructure and administration costs, especially customers who have tape-based backup systems. Some customers use backup software tools that integrate directly with Amazon S3. However, other customers want to continue using their existing backup software without direct S3 integration, at least for a period of time. Many aren't ready to upgrade the software versions, renew licenses, change tape workflows, or switch vendors to get S3 functionality and advantages. So these customers are looking to get away from the management of physical tapes, inserting and removing tapes from libraries, shipping tapes to off-site facility for safekeeping, as well as periodically testing tapes for viability. We've all had the dreaded fear of recalling a tape for a resource process or even for an IT audit, only to have that tape come back as damaged or unreadable by our software. All of these pain points can be solved. For these customers, tape Tape Gateway gives them on-premises access to virtually unlimited cloud storage for their tape backups. To meet the challenge, Tape Gateway acts as a drop-in replacement for the tape libraries, tape media, and archiving services without requiring changes to their existing software or archiving workflows. Through Tape Gateway's integration with Amazon S3 storage classes, including S3 Glacier and Deep Archive, Customers store virtual tapes with higher durability and lower cost than actual physical tapes, as little as about $1 per month per terabyte, which is the lowest cost storage available in the cloud. AWS is the only cloud provider to provide a service such as Tape Gateway for virtual tape backups. In the following customer use case, we'll discuss how we can utilize AWS Data Sync to copy files intelligently to Amazon S3 for additional data processing. In this example, we'll use a genomics customer, but this use case follows a pattern we've seen with many different workload types. For this use case, imagine an environment where you have devices generating a lot of data and storing it on your on-premises NAS device. The goal is to copy this data from the on-premises NAS device to Amazon S3 in order to run some additional processing and analytics in AWS. The idea is that they need to do this in an automated and efficient manner, and the desire is to not have to continue to copy the data that was copied on previous days, only the new data that is created. Each device or sequencer in this case runs a daily job that generates around 100 gigs of data and more than 100,000 files. As you can imagine, this, as this data continues to accumulate, it can become increasingly difficult to create a copy in AWS. 
Every time one of these sequencers runs, it writes data into a job folder with a unique ID and timestamp. The benefit here is that with DataSync, you have the ability to both to use both include and exclude filters on the tasks you create. You can pinpoint exactly what data you want to copy. With this use case, in order to further automate this data movement, a CloudWatch event was triggered nightly to trigger the start of the upload process. Integrating with one of AWS serverless services, AWS Lambda, a function kicks off a task for each sequencer with the appropriate include and exclude filters. This, along with the incremental nature of data copy within DataSync itself, ensures that only the new data will be copied to the destination. All of this enabled a fast, efficient, and automated way to get the data into Amazon S3, which then allowed the customer to use AWS's on-demand infrastructure to interact the data with the data efficiently. For this use case, the pattern we find is our customers may have a desire to deprecate or replicate or replace aging NAS infrastructure within their on-premises environment. There may be many factors as to why they want to migrate this data from on-premises to the cloud, but the most common use case is to avoid large costs of renewing expensive hardware NAS infrastructure, especially for data that may be infrequently accessed. The goal is to migrate petabytes of archive data to the cloud in the most cost-efficient manner, but still maintain the ability for applications on-premises to access the data stored in Amazon S3. With this use case, we take a hybrid approach utilizing both the services highlighted in this session. We will utilize DataSync to efficiently and securely transfer the data from the aging NAS platform and then represent the data back to our on-premises applications via file gateway. As mentioned earlier, due to the task-oriented nature of DataSync and with the flexibility of creating include and exclude filters, you can simplify migrating complex data layouts to get the data into the desired layout at the destination. DataSync also allows you to choose which storage class is the most appropriate for your data, and you can direct a task to store data directly into any of our S3 storage classes. This means that you can select the most cost-effective storage class for your needs, data that you know will be very infrequently accessed and maintained for compliance or archive purposes, can be migrated directly to Amazon S3 Glacier or Amazon S3 Glacier Deep Archive to begin to take advantage of costs as low as roughly $1 per terabyte. Because the data is now in S3, we can then deploy AWS Storage Gateway in file gateway mode on-premises Applications needing to access the data that have been migrated to S3 will now be able to do so via their native protocols like they were prior to the migration. So this brings us back to the question, can I use a free or open source transfer tool to get the job done? And the answer is yes, you can continue to use those tools. But hopefully, what I've shown you here today has given you some insight into how you're able to overcome the most difficult challenges presented by using these open source tools. Transferring a few files here and there is, a pretty, is pretty easy to do, but when you start looking at copying large amounts of data, there are a lot of factors to consider. AWS DataSync and AWS Storage Gateway can help reduce the complexity of your data migration to Amazon S3. It can be done securely with data validation and has the ability to scale out to whatever your needs are. Most importantly, using DataSync and Storage Gateway gives you back precious time and resources so you can focus on adding business value in other areas of your organization. I wanted to share a few customer use cases. Much like our hybrid use case in our last example, Cox Automotive had a very large footprint of expensive disk arrays taking up lots of data center space. They had to move their data off of these arrays as quickly as possible. Utilizing AWS DataSync to move their data into the cloud and then provide access to those to those on-premises applications via Storage Gateway helped Cox Automotive save nearly 85% on storage per location and allowed their storage engineers to focus on key business initiatives. With Santos Limited, every night they needed to ensure their database backups were copied to Amazon S3. They attempted to write their own scripts to manage their complex environment, but it proved to be too much of a burden. The lack of consistency using these scripts put the IT team in a dangerous position. The solution was for them to automate the copy management by using AWS DataSync, and they were able to remove the burden of managing those complex scripts and created DataSync's tasks 
to copy the data safely and security, securely to Amazon S3, which then ended up saving them months of development time and ultimately peace of mind that their data was safe and secure in Amazon S3. There are a lot of resources available to learn more and to get more information. I encourage everyone to take a closer look by investigating these links. You can read up on some of these blogs mentioned here, and if you want to dive a little deeper into, into this, please take a look at the AWS DataSync migration workshop links at the bottom, where you can roll up your sleeves and try out AWS DataSync and AWS Storage Gateway in a few hands-on workshops. Thank you again for taking the time to watch this virtual session. I hope you were able to learn about how using AWS DataSync and AWS Storage Gateway can help accelerate your migration to Amazon S3. Thank you.